Okay, so in this video, we're going to start putting together a little bit of a program which interacts with those three sensors. That's the pressure sensor, the um, temperature sensor, and the humidity sensor. So to start off with, I've, import, I've imported the commands, I've initiated the sense hat, and I've cleared the screen. So we're going to start by going while true. Oops, put the colon at the end there. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to... Um, take readings from all three senses. Radio. So that's just a little um, comment there. Let me know what I'm doing. So temp equals, as we know, sense dot get temper. Uh, let me just make sure I spell that right. Temperature. And yeah, open close brackets. Uh, press equals sense dot get pressure open close brackets then we got um, um equals from the sense hat get humidity open close brackets radio so now i've done that i've now got those results and you remember when we got those results previous in the previous videos they came back with large um, decimal points, lots of different decimal points at the end. So what we're going to do is actually going to round the values to one um, decimal place. Okay. Oop. Round the values to one decimal place. So temp equals um, round temp comma one. So you can see that I'm taking the value, whatever values in temp, I'm writing it to one decimal place and then I'm reassigning that new value back to the temp variable here. So press equals press comma one um, and then home equals Okay, so now I've done all that, I'm going to um, create a message. So that's going to say message equals open in their points temp space concatenate um, the string of temp. So remember, str will take a number and convert it into a string. So it will actually be a string, not a um, integer or a float, as would be in this case. Um, temp string plus, and I want to have a space pressure. I'll just close the assistant so we can actually see the whole lot here. concatenate again I want to convert the float that is um, the number value of in the variable press I want to convert that to a string so I can add it to this other string remember plussing strings together um, or concatenating them as it's called will actually just add them on to each other um, so it's like adding more words to a sentence if you want str and then bring it out so it doesn't wrap there we are so I'm going to make that message um, and then I'm going to say display message so I'm going to say sense dot show message um, message scroll speed Zero point oh, zero seven five. Maybe how's that? That sounds a good number to me. Close radio. So again, I'm going to want you to pause this and have a bit of a prediction of what you think is going to happen to this. So um, pause it and have a guess. Radio. And now that you've come back from that, let's run this and see what happens. And I get a error. What have I done? Um, scroll speed. 
Oh, yes, uh, scroll speed, not scroll speed would be really useful. So you see the error type, I got the message, it came back in this line here, radio, in line 21. I look at line 21, it tells me the error was there, and I just did a typo, which is not unusual for me. Let's run that. Right, and you can see over here on a little LCD screen, it's given me the current temperature, the current pressure, and the current humidity. So there you are. So that's using all those three um, sensors on the sense hat and then incorporate them into a message which we can put up on the matrix. Right here.